What's going on YouTube? GSN right here. So in today's video we're discussing about the brand new vulnerability on iOS 16.1.2, 16.1, 16.0 and stuff like that, which might be usable for jailbreak purposes. This video is brought to you by AnyUnlock, a software that allows you to unlock the screen passcode, bypass MDM, remove SIM lock, remove iTunes backup encryption and stuff like that. Definitely check the program out in the link below. It's particularly useful if you have a second hand device. So a couple of days ago this developer posted on Twitter, quote, I would like to share with you all my write-up and POC on CVE 2022-42864, a tuk-tuk in Iohead family. Now, this doesn't make a lot of sense for many of you, so I'm gonna try to explain what this is. So it's a write-up and a proof of concept for this vulnerability over here, which is a time-of-check, time-of-use vulnerability in Iohead family, which is a component of iOS and macOS. And they posted a link to their blog over here, and also to this repo on GitHub. And I received this a lot in the last couple of days, especially since this works on iOS as well. And many people asked me if this could be used for jailbreak purposes. So taking a look here on the security content of iOS 16.2, we can see that this vulnerability was indeed patched in here. It was patched in 16.2. So it's this vulnerability over here, and it says that an application may be able to execute arbitrary code with kernel privileges. Now taking a look here on the uh, repo, we can see a lot more information. It says, quote, this is my incomplete proof of concept exploit for this vulnerability, a time of check, time of use vulnerability in iHead family. So what's the state of this proof of concept? It says that the exploit currently achieves the same arbitrary K3 primitive used in the multicast byte copy exploit, which is nice. However, the subsequent exploit flow of multicast byte copy has been heavily mitigated against, so this is not a complete exploit. So I looked on this a lot, and I tried to understand what this could be useful for, and yeah, it turns out that it might be usable if we can find out a good target. So as they saying here, quote, in practice, this allows an attacker to read out of bounds kernel heap data of arbitrary size and write to arbitrary data, again of arbitrary size, out of bounds to the kernel heap. These are two powerful primitives. So the biggest problem here would be to find good targets for this. Now, this pathway, unfortunately, from multicast byte copy was heavily mitigated against, so it wouldn't be useful for jailbreak purposes in that way. It's not a recreation of the multicast byte copy exploit. However, the vulnerability remains, so we might be able to use this vulnerability against a different target, which might be usable for jailbreak purposes. It's still a powerful vulnerability, which could be useful. And since this was patched on 16.2, it could be useful for iOS 16.1.2 and lower for a jailbreak. Although it's not a directly useful vulnerability, it's not like plug and play vulnerability, which already gives you kernel read and write. Anyway, more information is available on their blog, including the fix Apple introduced and stuff like that. However, I would still recommend it to stay on iOS 16.1.2 and lower if you're planning to jailbreak in the near future. There seem to be vulnerabilities being released, so definitely stay tuned. Thank you for watching, I am Geosnow, peace out.